Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is this one. It's a lovely little envelope punch board box for two Yankee Candle tea lights. Now, Yankee Candle tea lights come in packets of 12. And this is what 12 looks like. You can actually hold 12 of these in an empty medium jar candle. I have these that sit on my windowsill. They don't sit on my windowsill at all. They sit on my shelves in my office. So if you saw my craft room tour, from a couple of weeks ago, you will have seen them up there. So I have got green ones and these are the gray ones that happen to suit my color scheme. I don't remember what they are. I think it's crackling wood fire. Not really my smell, but they look pretty. So two of those inside there. I don't remember what flavor's in there. Um, and yes, I did some fussy cutting. Oh, I can't believe it. I fussy cut. I'm gonna do it again. Right, I need a piece of designer series paper that is five and a quarter inches square. 13 and a half centimetres and so on the first side come in at two and five eighths of an inch which is 6.7 centimetres and if you haven't used the envelope punch board before imperial at the top and metric underneath and it's debossed it's sort of a can you hear that it's grooved inside so it is simple enough to do two and five eighths of an inch punch and score and then slide it along to three and three quarters of an inch which is nine and a half centimeters so punch and score after this you don't need the measurements and what you're going to do is line up that score line with this little mark that comes out and it actually says score guide on there and so that's what we're going to use to follow so punch and score slide along punch and score and repeat it all the way round um, and I can't actually see that score line in this light. There we go. Oh, actually, I could probably do it again up there. <laughs> oh, well. And then come round for the last time. Oh, for goodness sake, what is going on with this light today? There we go, punch and score. Now, on this one, I don't know how well you can see, I've got a little bend there because if I didn't put a bend in, this part here would go over. So if I fold it and show you, it's too wide. So you need to put a little bend in. So it's just on this one here. So you need this larger triangle up against here and you mark you score it at four and seven eighths of an inch you're not punching you're just scoring and it will obviously only do half of it that's okay we don't worry too much about that four and seven eighths that's 12.4 centimeters because when you turn it over you can do the other half So that is now fully scored. Don't know what anymore. We do need that. I want to round the corners. <laughs> so me saying we don't need that anymore. Yes, we do. Round the corners. Okay. Now we're going to burnish all these score lines. keep going isn't this paper gorgeous I will be very sad to see it go um, I'm really hoping that despite the fact I'm filming it about a week or so before you're going to see it I'm hoping it's still there and it hasn't suddenly all sold out this is what happens in the final weeks of a sale of the uh, retiring list <clears throat> okay so you need to hold this in the way that you've got the large triangles top and bottom and the smaller ones left and right because they're going to tuck in and tuck out of the way this one's going to come over and that's going to come over so holding it that way snip up here just cut straight up and that's going to tuck in and form the side of the box and repeat on both sides and opposite one another so you can see this is now going to come in that's going to fold round I've got my score line in 
which means this will close perfectly. Apparently that's eBay. I don't really know what that is. I haven't been on eBay in a long time. And that's going to fold over like that. Although actually I might come this way round because I think I might like the gold bit on the top. I'm not sure yet. Oh, decisions, decisions. No, I think I'll have a bit of purple. So all you need to do is put glue on those bits. Why is my phone going bidding bidding at me? So glue on those tabs. And then bring them round to close in the sides of the box. Okay. And a couple of tea lights. So like I said, I've chosen the Yankee Candle because I know everybody can get those pretty much anywhere. And, oh, no, that's not my fragrance at all. Ooh, I want to say it's crackling wood fires. Yeah, not for me. So it closes up like that. Very simple. You don't need to put any extra adhesive on. I'm going to put a little bit of ribbon. So I've got the metallic edge ribbon. So this is very vanilla ribbon. So even though it's white on there, I'm not over worried. Very vanilla. It's got the gold edge, which was important to me. I have the gold edges. And I'm going to tie it in a knot, mostly because I'm hopeless at bows. But actually knots, if you do a nice square knot, they're very pretty. Oh, it's my family. They're all going to come thundering the, through the door in a minute, making an awful lot of noise. I apologise if they do. Home from school. Right. Stamping. So, this is this one here from the Crafting Forever stamp set. And I want to piece of very vanilla to match. Um, my scraps pile just to my right. And I'm going to go Rich Razzleberry this time. Um, I'm all prepared to pause just in case. <laughs> Hello. And straight over there. How fast can I fussy cut this out and get it finished? They will, they're like feral. It's almost as though they haven't been fed at school and they come in and they come charging through, um, through my kitchen like starved, feral cats they're not <laughs> Chris saying where are your jobs then they have daily jobs that they have to do um, things like emptying the dishwasher or going and collecting the bins from around the house stuff like that so they're going to have one of them's going to come thundering up the stairs in the middle Woof. you nearly heard a full on tantrum Oliver was not happy about having to empty the bins there are some things that you don't need to hear about my life. I'm a real mum. My children aren't always perfectly behaved. Gold faceted gems and a tiny little bit of wink of Stella. And I, I really don't think you're going to see this at all. But when you put wink of Stella onto one of our classic ink pads, it Let's put this on autofocus. It moves the ink around so you can see that it's just pulling bits of that rich razzleberry. But that is done. Maybe next time I'm going to look at the clock <laughs> before I film a video. But I really thought I had a few extra minutes. Apparently not. Anyway, thank you ever so much for joining me and the boys. Speak to you soon. Bye.